Isles. Welcome to Kugel Island. This is our planet, planet Earth, and we can see the American continent surrounded by blue oceans. Somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of Central America, there is a magical place called Google Island. Can you see it? It's right there, where the tip of the arrow is pointing to. Can you see it now? Well, it's a pretty small island, and a magical one too. First of all, grown-ups cannot see the island, but children can. So let's get a bit closer. There it is. Can you see it now? That's Kugel Island, seen from above. It's a very beautiful and green tropical island. And there is a large volcano on it. Do you know why the island is called Kugel Island? Well, it's because the island is the home of the Kugels. So let's start by meeting the Kugels. This is Pigu. Pigu is a Kugel. Like all the Kugels, Pigu has a perfectly round body, like a ball. And his arms and feet are shaped like jelly beans. He also has very, very small eyes. And that is why Pigu and his Kugel friends need to wear very, very large glasses. Pigu is standing on a green meadow on top of a hill, and behind him you can see the mighty volcano of Kugel Island. But that is not a regular volcano. After all, we are on Kugel Island, which is full of magical places. So this volcano is something special. We'll see in a moment how special it is. From the top of the hill, Biku has a wonderful view down the valley and across the mountain range up to the ocean. It's another beautiful sunny day on Kugel Island. Biku has now come down the hill and has arrived at the valley of the happy cocoa trees. Do you know what cocoa trees are? Cocoa trees grow cocoa fruits which are full of cocoa beans. And cocoa beans are used to make something that children and the Kugels like very much. Can you imagine what it is? It's chocolate. Cocoa beans are used to make chocolate. Because chocolate makes the Kugels so happy, the cocoa trees on Google Island have always been very, very happy trees. And as everyone knows, happy trees grow many, many fruits. So for a long time, the Kugels have harvested the cocoa fruits. They gather the cocoa beans and carry them up to the top of the volcano, where they throw all the cocoa beans down into the volcano's crater. That's where the magic happens. Every time the volcano erupts, instead of producing hot and dangerous lava, the volcano spews melted chocolate, which flows down its slope and runs through the valley and the forest. At the end of its journey, the river of chocolate forms a waterfall which drops into a lagoon of creamy chocolate. There is Bigu now, standing on a rock in front of the chocolate waterfall. Ah, and see who else is there. It's Tingu, Bigu's best friend. Tingu is the blue little fellow on the barge. He's filling up canisters with the creamy chocolate. Hopefully, Tingu won't try to fill up too much chocolate into the canisters. Look! Oh, Tingu! One of the canisters has tumbled down and spilled all the chocolate. Well, it's not that bad. There's plenty more in the lagoon. So much for today, friends. 
See you next time for more adventures of the cool girls. Bye-bye!